Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to calculate the conversion rate in Data Studio for Google Analytics for data. Previously, we covered how you can't find the conversion rate in the out-of-the-box conversion reports for Google Analytics 4 and how to create an exploration, a funnel exploration to find the conversion rates. But today we're going to focus on calculating the conversion rate for Google Analytics 4 in Google Data Studio. So the first thing you want to make sure you have is the Google Analytics 4 data source connected to this report and we'll do that by clicking on add data at the top here and once this these options appear select Google Analytics and then make sure you select the account and the GA property for Google Analytics 4 data source that you're looking for. Click on add wait for that to load. Normally what you would do is click on add report but I'm not going to do that since I already have it connected to the report. So then it would just bring you back to this edit mode here. So this is what the data would look like. This is the finished product, the conversion rate scorecard right here. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this page and then get rid of the metrics and start from scratch. Remove the sessions, the conversion rate, and the conversions scorecard. And I'm going to duplicate this purchase revenue scorecard. Actually, I'm going to turn it into sessions, or you can also use users to calculate the conversion rate if you want a conversion rate based on users. But in this example, we're just going to go with sessions, and then we'll create another scorecard metric. I'm going to use conversions. Right now, these metrics don't have any filters or segments on them, so they're overall sessions and overall conversions. So we're just going to use these metrics to calculate our overall conversion rate, no matter what type of conversion it is. So now we'll need to select the metrics in order to create our conversion rate scorecard. And what we're going to do is select the conversions first and then the sessions because the conversion rate that will be calculated will be done using conversions divided by sessions. So whichever metric you select first will be the numerator and then the second metric will be in the denominator. So select conversions first and then press control or whatever it is on your device, computer, laptop that will allow you to select multiple scorecards. And then select the sessions metric. So now we have those two metrics selected and right click on those metrics and select blend data from this menu. It's given us a new metric here and we can drag it down here. This gives us 
conversions divided by sessions, exactly what we're looking for. Now you can change the label for this scorecard and you can just call it overall conversion rate. So you can see the type is percent and we'll just leave the rest of these settings as is and click on apply. So now we have our label and we'll click out of this window and you can see that it's labeled correctly. Now what we'll actually do is run this example with another conversion event. So what I'm going to do is add another data source and I'm going to use our test website our digital learning sandbox GA4 property for sessions and conversions I'm going to change the data source from the Google Merchandise Store to the new J4 data source that we added. And those numbers should be much less. Yeah. Click on style and since they're they're lower numbers I'm going to remove the compact numbers settings. Now what I need to do is go to Google Analytics make sure I'm switching to the GA4 property that I want digital sandbox website and now I want to go in the left navigation menu and click on configure and we see here that these are the events that we're currently tracking for this GA4 property and what you can do is you can mark different events as conversions so I'm actually going to mark the file download as conversions and you can create other events if you want to add other conversions to your property so now that that's done we can go back to our data studio but it probably won't update the report just yet since we just flipped the switch so give it some time before the report updates but another way you can do this is you can choose instead of conversions event count that's the number we're looking for and then add a filter for a specific event so we'll name this filter file downloads and select the field for event name set the condition to equal to and make sure we match the event name we'll copy this and paste it in the field here and then click on save so we have our event that matches the file download updated and let's just get rid of this metric scorecard so now let's find the conversion rate for file downloads using 
the number of sessions. So first we selected the event count and then we're going to select sessions. Right click and select blend data. Wait for Data Studio to do its thing. And now we have our conversion rate for the file downloads and we can rename it as well to file download conversion rate and click on apply we'll click out of this window and there's our scorecard metric that's been updated so that's how you calculate the conversion rate using Google Analytics 4 data in Google Data Studio. If you want to see how to find the conversion rate in Google Analytics 4 itself using the funnel exploration, there's a link in the description. So check out the website if you want more insight on web analytics and analysis and reporting if you found this video helpful please like subscribe comment share the video and we'll see you in the next episode